My name is Joe Nocella. I'm the owner of 718 Cyclery. I'm also an architect. Uh, I teach at Pratt and uh, I run a lacrosse foundation. I got into bikes uh, four or five years ago pretty seriously. Uh, I was a bike messenger in uh, the late 80s. Um, got hit by a car and quit. I was never really into the culture that much. It was just kind of a job and something to do. Uh, again, about four or five years ago, I had a bike stolen from my front yard. I had some friends convince me that uh, I should build a bike, uh, and I didn't really know how to do that or how to go about that. Um, I really kind of fell in love with the process. Um, I think most architects have some kind of left brain and right brain kind of duality that they always deal with. For me, a lot of times architecture just takes too long. I mean, projects just take years and years. Um, and I think what I found about working with bikes, you had that left brain and right brain duality on bite-sized projects, projects that were done in a few hours and projects that were affecting people's lives right away. You, know, you have the, the technology of these bikes, uh, the threadings and the sizes and the cables and the wires and the gears. On the other side, there's this unmistakable beauty of a, of a machine that's essentially 100 years old and still very valid. So that's kind of where I kind of got drawn into these things. Um, it's been about four years. I mean, again, uh, once I had built a bike on my own, um, I really fell in love with the process and um, I had enough parts to build another bike because I'd made so many mistakes and bought so many of the wrong pieces. Uh, I built a second bike and right as I was doing that I had a neighbor ask, wow, do you sell those? And so it started really taking off. Uh, we were for two years uh, working in my backyard on the weekends and what had happened was I, I found that people wanted to be involved in the process. They wanted to learn and I was still learning so I was you know, staying five minutes ahead of my clients at the time. In the backyard we built a, a shed and for two years we just kind of uh, built and built. We built you know, maybe 150 bikes at one point in one year. And I just realized that more and more people out there were interested in doing things with their hands again. I think a lot of us have been you know, kind of put to sleep or seduced by the internet and technology and all the things that we do in our daily lives. This was a way to kind of you know, start working with your hands again. So after two years of that, I really had no intention of opening a shop um, right when a shop became available right around the corner from my house. My wife and I decided that uh, if we were ever going to take a chance making this into a store, this would be the best opportunity. It's been, it's been a lot of hard work. It's been uh, working with a great staff of people. The crew that works here are kind of a second to none. And you know they have to kind of believe, kind of what I believe, to make it all work. I mean, we've had some people come through here that didn't necessarily believe or uh, embrace the idea of working directly with our customers. You know, some people just don't want to work that way. Some people um, just don't feel it's appropriate. It's a lot of work to work this way. It's very rewarding, but it's a lot more complicated to deal with everyone on a one-on-one -on -one basis, to deal with everyone collaboratively and uh, openly. You know, um, most retail shops, you're just basically selling a product off the wall. And what we try to do is kind of get beyond that retail transaction and, and really create relationships that last a long, long time. And, and certainly we're starting to see kind of the fruits of all of the labor that we've put in to making those relationships happen, we're starting to see a lot of the benefits where we have you know, an incredible following. Uh, we have customers that'll uh, you know, really you know, come to us with some really amazing work. Again, we've done maybe 350 of these and they're all different. Um, and you really get to know someone over this, this week or two or three weeks when you're working going through this process. It's much more, you're building a much more intimate relationship than someone just coming in and saying, I want that bike off the wall. They ring them up and they're out the door. I mean, you've worked with someone for two or three weeks. You know the names of their kids. You know what their commute is like and a lot of times what their life is like in terms of how they're going to use this bike. So once this bike is done, this person has rolled out, I mean, you've developed a relationship that's going to keep coming back in so many great ways. I tell people it's like if you smile when someone walks in the door, you've beaten like 90% of the bike shops like right off the bat. You know, to distill it down, it's a place where, where arrogance and attitude just have no, no place here. It's, it's fun, it's bikes. To really, you know, take the enjoyment of, of biking and kind of like let that, let that guide what we do in the shop. And the people that work here, it reeks from them that they're, you know, enjoying what they do. And um, so it's our relationship with our customers is um, certainly without a doubt um, unlike any other. And certainly it's a lot of work to do it this way, but um, it's very rewarding to do it this way.